Hack a Week. Uh, this week we're back with the Emic 2 again. This time we're following up on where we started, which was we got it up and running last time, communicating with the Arduino. I've still got that board set up here. Now what I want to do is figure out a way to get our little talking boxes with their mouths moving in time with every line that's said from the Emic 2. So that's uh, a little bit of a tricky proposition. There's probably a few ways to do it with pulse width modulation and maybe an H-bridge driving a motor, stuff like that. What I really would like to do, my goal is to follow the analog signal. There's already an analog signal coming out, right, in the form of sound. So if I could grab that signal, there's all the triggers and peaks and valleys I need in that analog signal to make a mouth move. I just need to translate it into that somehow. So how do we do that? with some analog devices. Well, I've got a MOSFET here and a few transistors before that to amplify the signal and uh, well, we get down here a little closer and I'll, I'll show you what's going on and I'll, I'll let Emic actually explain it. Are you ready? Okay. What we are doing here is inventing a way to translate an audio signal into a voltage that can carry enough current to drive an electric motor. This requires a MOSFET transistor and a signal to trigger it. The signal comes from the output of the MIT2 which is then amplified and sent to the gain pin of the MOSFET which supplies voltage to drive the motors. Happiness. Yes indeed, that is uh, that is happiness when that all happens just right. Um, let's get into this a little bit more here. Here's what we got. There's the MOSFET that was uh, turning on that red light right there. It gets uh, triggered at the gate, and then the source and the drain are where the current flows through. Uh, then that signal comes from that tiny little transistor right there. There's a uh, NPN there and a PNP. What that circuit does is uh, kicks the signal up a little bit from the audio signal coming in here. It goes through this one first, which actually pulls it to ground unless there's a, a signal coming through, and then it turns it on. That keeps the voltage here from being on all the time and then modulated up and down. If this was two NPNs, it would do differently. But anyway, that's what I chose. It's off until it gets triggered by some voltage, then it kicks on, turns on that second transistor. That sends a signal to the MOSFET. MOSFET turns on and supplies a ground to the uh, load, which is represented by this red light. So it lights up a red light okay, but when you put a motor on it, it's a little different story. Uh, it does some some strange things. It goes through a lot of peaks, but I think I can get it to drive uh, drive it the way I want. It's about amplitude. Right, we'll let uh, Emic just talk here uh, for a minute. You can see the red light flashing. Okay, so we can hook up a motor to that same output. It's a positive connected, negative connected. And the motor will move, coordinated with the audio signal, all by itself. If I turn it up all the way, this has got a lot more torque, more speed. So, that could be what I use to drive the top of this box and make it open and close properly. So that's where I'm at now, is the uh, mechanical bits to do just that. So the schematic, the schematics are from a couple other schematics. Uh, I don't always design my circuits right from the ground up. Uh, I've learned a lot of electronics just from taking what's out there and what I know works, and I'll build the, a segment of the circuit, test it, and go, all right, there's a building block. That's my little amplifier to uh, get a better signal going into my MOSFET right here. So I took the MOSFET that was at the tail end of the fuel injector tester that I designed and built. This one I did really spend quite a bit of time on and had some input from people online that helped a lot. That was great. Thanks, folks. Learned all about MOSFETs on that design. So all I need to do is get the signal that used to go to this LED 
pretty much the positive side of that, just running to the MOSFET and I'll be all set. I have the schematic pasted together here in my logbook. Uh, a little easier than just drawing it all out. I know sometimes I just take printouts that I have hanging on the wall and piece them together and build other circuits. So there it is, as built. The audio comes in, goes through those two little transistors, amplifies that signal a bit before it gets to the gate, goes to the gate, and then out to the motor, or the LED in this case. So there it is, a sound to voltage converter circuit. I'll post this on the uh, Hack -a Week project page. Well, as you see, we're moving along pretty good on this little project, I think. I uh, figured out a way to translate sound into a motion that I can do something with and maybe make the box open and close with a cam on the motor, perhaps, something like that. I'd like to play around with getting a little bit more amperage coming out of that MOSFET, so got to play with the circuit a little more, tweak some stuff, maybe change MOSFETs. It's just one I pulled out of the drawer. I know there's others out there. I've got the data sheet on it, but anyway. Uh, that's how it is when you just hack stuff apart and keep it. You look up the data sheet, and if it works for your prototype, fine. And you didn't have to buy one and throw it back in the drawer and use it next time. Anyway, I digress, as I usually do. So, where are we at then? We need to do that. We need to also come up with some code. We being me and uh, the animals. Uh, the code is going to be a little bit of fun. I want to generate something like, uh, there's a magic eight ball code, there's um, like the fortune teller code for Arduino. It just basically returns random phrases on an event. So I want to do something like that with the emic, and I've got some code going, but I can't seem to get it to actually do the serial write to the emic yet. Uh, working on it. We'll see if we can figure it out. Anybody has any suggestions? Hey, write them out there in the chat and share it with everybody. Uh, this is kind of fun, working along with this thing and putting speech into something. I'm excited. So stay tuned. Next week, we'll have a moving mouth. Till then, keep on hacking. <laughs>